Welcome to Soup Dub Recipes. Today we are making Lu Rou Fan. It is a very popular dish in Taiwan. Let's get started by marinating the pork belly. Cut the pork belly into strips, then cut into small size. It is a little bit thicker than half inch. Mix it with two tablespoons of soy sauce and one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. Set it aside, and we are going to make the fried shallot. Cut the shallot into thin strips. Make it loose. Add half cup of oil to a small sauce pot. Fry the shallot on low heat. It will take about five to eight minutes to get it golden brown like this. Strain it, and you got your fried shallot. Heat up your wok, adding your pork belly without oil. Stir fry on medium heat. It will start getting a little burned on the bottom. Don't worry. Because after we adding the water, that is all going into the broth, and will turn into a delicious sauce eventually. This is one of those recipes that you want to have all the ingredients ready ahead of the time. Once you see it looks like this, then you're ready to throw in all the ingredients: the Shaoxing wine, soy sauce. Rock sugar, ginger, garlic, star anise, and a pinch of five spice. Keep stirring it until the sugar melts. Pour in one and half liter of water. I know that looks like a lot of water, because my wok is wide open. And we need enough water for a long time stewing. Adding the fried shallots we made before. I also forgot to mention that I add a teaspoon of dark soy sauce here. It's just for color. Bring it to a boil and then turn the heat to low. Let it stew for one to two hours. Depends on how tender you want. This is what it should look like after one and a half hour. The sauce still pretty thin, and there is a lot of fat floating on the top. Take it out so your pork won't be too oily. That is how much oil I took out. Now you're gonna turn the heat to high. Start reducing the sauce. It will just take about a few minutes. You will see a lot of bubbles, and the sauce is getting thick. When it looks like this, you can turn off the heat. It is perfect to serve it with rice, because it's all meat. So I put some vegetable to balance the flavor. Also, I add an egg. Hmm, the pork is so juicy and tender; it melts immediately. And the rice is soaked with the sauce; it's so delicious. Oh God, guys! I hope you give this a try soon. Recipe each week, and for now, check out my other amazing recipes.